remote control. of sorts, our quiz and quiz it up, Anthony H. Wilson. Thank you. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. A very good evening, a very good evening. Welcome to the Remote Control Political Election Special in an extremely political outfit you're wearing, Aralyn, I have yeah. to say. Very labour. Uh, very, very, very indeed labour intensive, yes indeed. And uh, <laughs> let's just meet our contestants tonight, all of whom are here to stand for the safe seat of remote control. Ms. Pratt, how are you, Ms. Pratt? Big warm applause, please. Can I ask you, what is your stance on the legalisation of alcohol? Oh, um, I'm all against it, really. You're it's against disgraceful. it. Disgraceful. It's disgraceful. Disgraceful. These people but, getting drunk. Yeah, particularly as you once passed out in a toilet, I believe. Thank you, yeah. Ms. Pratt. We, really, we reveal personal secrets of our contestants at the drop of a hat. And now, Mr. Speakman of the Speakman Party. How are you, sir? <laughs> Sure. And uh, we'd like to know your political stance on Terry Christian. What's your stance on Terry Christian? Uh, hanging should be brought back. Hanging should be brought back. Thank Christian, you very much, Mr. Speaker. A lot of applause there. I really like Terry Christian. He's really good. Isn't he, he really is. He's great. Yes, thank you, Phil. Yes, yes. So I'm not voting for you, yeah. Phil. Next up now, Mr. Boyce from Cheltenham. Yeah. I didn't know people came from Cheltenham. I thought they stayed in Cheltenham. <laughs> no, Cheltenham's a marvellous place. It's Absolutely a marvellous place. Absolutely marvellous. 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 Very, very good, very good. And um, you're in the OTC, Bye. yes? Yeah, that's right. Just God bless Bye. you, Mr Boyce. The kind of people that uh, we wouldn't have fought the war and died for exactly. without people like you. I mean, I mean, I could tell you about it. No, don't tell us about it. Just... Well, I could, but I'd have to kill you. You'd have to kill me first. <laughs> That's Don't kill me, just surprise me and show okay. that you know where your remote control is. And Mr. Boyce, choose a channel and begin tonight's election special remote control. Whoa, channel three. Channel three. <laughs> yes or no on the ballot paper. Did the Russian physiologist Ivan Petrovich Pavlov develop the concept of the conditioned reflex? Yes, please, Miss Pratt. Yes. Of course he did indeed, the yeah, Pavlovian yeah. reflex. Oh, oh, what a dog. Oh, he, even Phil knew that. I what a knew dog that. of a question. Miss oh, Pratt, choose a channel, please. Oh, yeah. Choose a channel. Um, number seven, please. Number seven. Oh, welcome oh, John yeah. Major's dad. Yeah. He's got that bloody again. La, 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 <laughs> la. Thank you. Hello, I am John Major's dad. And my son Johnny supports the Tory party. But which famous Scottish actor supports which party? Yes, Sean please. Connery supports the Scottish National Party. That is brilliant! Yes. Yes. <laughs> You'll never guess what happened the other week in the circus. Well, one of the clowns handed me a kaleidoscope and said, look into this and you see all these pretty pictures and patterns dancing before your very eyes. So I looked in and he was right. I saw all these pretty pictures and patterns dancing before my very eyes. And then I took the kaleidoscope away and everybody was laughing at me and pointing at me. I only had a black eye. They painted a circle on it. Ah. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I'm going to do uh, an impression now. Sybil, Sybil, Manuel. Uh, now, which famous actor supports the SDLP? Yes, please, Mr. Boyce. John Cleese. That's yeah! right. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Heredity is no obstacle to great office. Mr. Boyce, choose a channel, please. It's got to be Channel 4. It is, it is, it is. A political Channel 4 question. What would Ralph Andrew Rawns and Quinn 
Hannah say, was a long time. Yes, Mr. Boyce. Politics. A week in politics. A week in politics is a quick answer. Second time around. Thank you. <laughs> Show us a channel, Mr. Boyce from Cheltenham. Channel 9. Channel 9. Bear facts. Are you sure of a big, a big surprise? surprise. <laughs> Stuff about bears. Goes what up. greedy cow ate the three bears' porridge? Yes, please, Miss Pratt. Goldilocks. Goldilocks, that greedy cow, absolutely. <laughs> Fine, Miss Pratt, to the channel, please. Uh, number two, please. Number two. Oh, Frank's fantastic question. <laughs> I am actually the candidate for the birthday party, actually, because <laughs> the policies are, if we all have a birthday every single day, then everyone will be happy and you get loads of presents and loads of money and there's always a party at your house. That's it's, it's indiscriminate, it's going to go boss. nowhere. I wouldn't vote for that at all. No, it's a fantastic idea. Listen, <laughs> if you had a birthday every single yeah. day this year, but in mind, it's leap year, how many birthdays would you have? Yes, please, Mr Speakman. 366. 66, yeah. he got it, Mr Speakman's yeah. on the board. Thank you. <laughs> happy birthday, sir, by the way. Oh! oh right. One of those things. No, it'd be a fantastic idea. Hey, that means you'd be 366 days old every year old, wouldn't you? So, that's all wrong, that, isn't it? Totally. Oh, oh, no. oh your birthday cake. Right, I'll tell you what. Can you guess my birthday? Yes, please, Miss Pratt. 5th of April? Correct! She's got it! Correct! <laughs> no, oh, so oh, oh, go, Frank! <laughs> Frank! All right, we vote for the disgusting party a little bit later. Miss Pratt, I don't know how you knew that, but choose another channel, please. Oh, well, me and Frank have got a thing going. Oh, know. yeah, you have, haven't you? And love number six, please. Miss mm. number six. We want to talk to you later, Miss Pratt, about that, but right now, this, that, the other thing, everything is either going to be red, white, or blue, Peter. Tomato sauce. Yes, please, Mr. Boyce. Red. It's correct. Snow. Yes, please, Mr. White. Speakman. White is correct. John Noakes. Yes, please, Miss Pratt. Blue, Peter. It's correct. Here's one I made earlier. Yes, please, Miss Pratt. Blue Peter. Is correct. Blood. Yes, please, Mr. Boyce. Red. Is correct. Get down, Shep. Yes, please, Mr. Speaker. Blue Peter. Is correct. Cliffs of Dover. Yes, please, Mr. Speaker. White. Is correct. Milk bottle tops. Yes, please, Mr. Boyce. White. Oh, no. Mr. Uh, Miss Pratt. Blue Peter. Blue Peter is correct. A stupid badge. Yes, please, Mr. Speakman. Blue Peter. Is correct. Rag to a bull. Yes, please, Mr. Speakman. I didn't hear you. <laughs> oh, no, pausing, please. Rag to a bull. Come on. Mr. Boyce. Red. Is totally correct. Salt. Yes, please, Mr. Speakman. White. Is correct. Simon Groom. Yes, please, Mr. Speakman. Blue Peter. Is correct. Oh, wow. very good. Oh. And Mr. Speakman, choose a channel. You're back in the game, Mr. Speakman. A heavy run on the line. Come on. Come on, the outsider there. Mr. Speakman, choose a channel, please. Uh, I'll have channel nine, please. Don't. Channel nine. Bear facts again. Good, good. good. Like uh, we could go down the woods, uh, Aaron, but don't worry about that. I like that one. The Chicago Bears are an American football team. Can you tell me the name of their stadium? Yes, please, Miss Pratt. Chicago Stadium? No. Not Chicago Stadium, Mr. Speakman. Shea. No, uh, not Shea Stadium, that's New York, and that's also the wrong team. Mr. Boyce? Rob Allman. No, it's Can Soldier... <laughs> so <laughs> Soldier Field. Soldier Field, Soldier Field, out by the lake. Right, Miss, Mr. Speakman, choose the channel, please. Uh, Wob. Pump down the volume. Who can drink the most? We're about to find out. If I drank ten pints of wine and Philia drank five litres of wine, who would have drunk the most? Miss Mr. Speakman. Bill. No, Mr. Speakman, Mr. Boyce, I yeah. would have done indeed your writing, thank you very much. Oh, end of the round, and in your political quest here, the votes are even. At the end of round one, we are counting up the ballots. Seven votes to Ms. Pratt, seven votes to Mr. Speakman, and seven votes to Mr. Boyce. A dead heat, let's feed them some political snacks and tell them about the fabulous political prizes on tonight's show. <laughs> You'll have lots of fun with Bunty and her pals in this book. But not so much fun with this remote control tie. Oh yes, it's a brick. And it's actually quite a good remote control chair. And finally, there's a funny looking cactus. <laughs> when remote control continues... <laughs> Remote control election special, where after all we celebrate democracy, but at the same time the remote control, Phil, as we all know, is the symbol of personal dictatorship in the living room. Yes. 
That's exactly what I told you. That's to what say. you told me to say. I said it absolutely said right. It that's fantastic. Welcome to Remote Control again. And as you can see, we're looking for a recount here because the Pratt party are on seven, the Speakman party are on seven, and the Boyce party are on seven. And I'd like to know which of our three contestants goes out dancing. Who goes out dancing? Miss Pratt, you, uh, Mr. Speakman, and Miss. Yes, you go dancing. Mr. Boyce, you go dancing. Occasionally. Just occasionally. occasionally. Your father was a member of parliament once upon a time. Yes? My, my grandfather was, Your yeah. grandfather was, indeed. Yeah. Well, I think, Mr. Boyce, in that case, this being an election special, you should begin round two, where the questions are worth two points. To use a channel, Mr. Boyce. Ooh, channel six. Channel six. Right and wrong, the law and order debate continues. Is it right or wrong to laugh at other people's jokes when they aren't funny? So as... <laughs> yes, Mr. Speakman. It's yeah. not wrong. We don't want to hurt their feelings, it's Mr. Boyce, right. do we? It's what? Right. It's right, Mr. Boyce. It's Absolutely right. correct, Mr. Boyce. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to hurt people's feelings, Mr. Speakman? Yeah, do I. <laughs> well, we don't like that, people yeah. like that at all in our party. Mr. Boyce, to the channel, please. Channel one. Channel one. Beat the meat. Beat the meat. Beat the meat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the meat. <laughs> this week, I am mince meat. Right. Beat the meat. I can name two politicians that were assassinated. Can you name three? Uh, yes, beat please, the Mr. Meat. Boyce. Garfield, Lincoln, and Kennedy. Well done. Yeah. He has beaten the meat. He was the meat, and he always will be the meat. Mr. Boyce, to the channel, please. Channel seven. Channel 7. It's not fair. Can you say, hello, Tony, how are you in Arabic? Yes, please, Miss Pratt. Misahi, ye Tony, kefahelik. Fantastic. Two points, Miss Pratt. It does help to know. Of course, it's not fair because Miss Pratt is an Arabic student. Miss Pratt, to the channel, please. Number four, please. Number four. Which political party is Alan Bastard a member of? Yes, please, Mr. Speakman. Conservative. The Tory party, indeed. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Choose a channel, please, Mr. Speakman. Yeah, that... <laughs> Labour sneer. Little sneer. <laughs> Come on. Five, please, Tony. Five. Ooh, Mrs. Merton. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Burton. <laughs> An election day is here, and it is all very exciting, isn't it? And do remember, it is important to vote, even if you're a woman or something like that. Now, <laughs> what nationality is Neil Kinnock? Yes, please, Mr. Speaker. Welsh. Yes, he is Welsh. Yeah, he is Welsh. <laughs> yeah. a terrible shame, and he's got ginger hair as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've got a little tip for the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Now, instead of adding tax onto things like, you know, petrol or cigarettes or useful things, why not add those pennies to things like Wedgwood or artificial limbs, things like that? So that's a little tip for him. <laughs> now, what number does the Chancellor of the Exchequer Ms. live at? The boys. Number 11. He does indeed. <laughs> <very good. laughs> you will lose your deposit at the moment. Mr. Pratt is on 9, Mr. Speaker on 11, Mr. Boyce on 13, and he has the choice of the next channel. Mr. Boyce, please. Choose channel channel. 3. Channel 3. Some deep thoughts, which is where we on remote control ponder the meaning of life and try to find out what it all means. We all know that Jesus died for our sins and was born on Christmas Day. So what's his birth sign? Yes, please, Mr. Speaker. Such serious. No, Mr. Pratt. Capricorn. Capricorn is correct. The same as Elvis. Yay! Yes, indeed. <laughs> right. Miss Pratt, to the channel, please. Um, number nine, please. Number nine. Guess the weight of. Well, guess the weight of oh my God, this here we go. <laughs> piece of tripe. Is this piece of tripe four ounces, six ounces, or eight ounces? Yes, please, Mr. Boyce. Eight ounces. Wrong, Mr. Boyce. Miss Pratt. Four ounces. Wrong, Mr. Speakman. Uh, six. Six <laughs> ounces. You know your tripe. Thank you very much. People eat that. Mr. Oh, Speakman. Tripe and onions in the north, there. in the north, you southern What do you eat next time? Right, right. Uh, Mr. Speaker, on <laughs> the channel, please. Oh, uh, I hope I'll have number eight, please. Hey, I hope number, number eight. eight. Number it's eight. a fact. <laughs> Questions about things that went wrong. If it was 1973, his beard and haircut might still be fashionable. But who is the virgin man whose balloons keep bursting? Yes, please, Mr. Richard Speakman. Richard Branson. Richard Branson, indeed. Mr. Branson wins you two points. <laughs> Choose a channel, Mr. Speakman. 
That is right. Number nine, please. Number nine. Guess the weight of. Guess the weight of. Excuse me. Oh, these disgusting. kidneys. <laughs> Have I got four ounces of kidneys, six ounces of kidneys, or eight ounces of kidneys? Mr. Speakman. Four. Wrong, Mr. Speakman. Mr. Boyce. Six. Six ounces of kidneys is entirely correct. Thank you very much, Mr. Speakman. <laughs> order, order. Mr. Boyce, you're in the well. Level with Mr. Speakman 15. Choose the channel, please, Mr. Boyce. Oh. Channel two. Channel two. Some questions. Who is the actor with the big conk who played Oz in our feeder zone pet? Mr. Boyce. Jimmy Nail. Jimmy Nail, the spender. Great. Right, Mr. Boyce, choose another channel, please. Channel 7. Channel 7. It's not fair. Whose grandfather was Lord Mayor of London in 1951? Mr. Boyce? Mine. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Speakman. Mr. Speakman, what are you complaining about? Uh, this election is rigged. You knew that from the start. Don't complain now. Mr. Boyce, choose a channel, please. Channel 4. In which series did Robert Lindsay play ruthless politician Michael Murray? Yes, please, Miss Pratt. Uh, ah, no, no, pausing, please. That. Which series was Robert Lindsay playing Michael Murray? Give me a clue. Written please by don't, Mr. Please Bleasdale. Don't. No. Please don't. Thank you, audience. Yeah. The age, thank yeah. you. Choose a channel again, please, Mr. Boyce. Channel three. Channel three. More deep thoughts. If the bill for the Last Supper came to 260 shekels, including service charge, how much is that per head? Yes, please, Miss Pratt. 20 pounds, 20 shekels. 20 shekels, we give you that one, Miss Pratt, indeed, absolutely. You're already two behind Miss Speakman. Choose a channel, please, Miss Pratt, quickly. Um, number two, please. Number two, some questions. The Cup Series Spender, which stars Jimmy Nail, is written by Ian Lafrenet and which big-nosed Geordie actor? Yes, please, Mr. Boyce. Jimmy Nail again. Jimmy Nail is yeah. correct again. Fantastic. Oh. Wow. End of the round. And as we count the votes, Mr. Boyce has 21, Mr. Speakman has 15. Ms. Pratt, you've been a wonderful contestant, particularly with your living Marxism T-shirt showing your right of way. We say goodbye in the only way we know how. Speakman and Mr. Boyce, not only are you destined for high office tonight, you're also destined perhaps to win some of these fabulous political prizes. It's a really good remote control occasional table. <laughs> Chop them off with this remote control chopping board. Go wild with this dog food. And look like a right top in these remote control Wellington boots. Fantastic prizes, aren't they? Mr. Speakman, uh... I know you auditioned for the puff, but you got down to the last ten for presenting the word, didn't you? Which is why I asked you the Terry Christian question. How would you like to do Phil's job here? Do you think you could do that? Anyone could do that. Uh, Get an ironing board. Better. Considerably better. Get an Phil. ironing board. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, said. All right, you two. Let's see how well you do with the really hard maths question to decide who wins tonight's electoral competition. And the really hard maths question tonight, which involves your pad and your felt tips, goes as follows: If you won an election with 160 votes, and the second place candidate got 140 votes. 140 votes, and the third place candidate, the only other candidate, got 100 votes. What percentage of the votes cast would have gone to you? And while you're doing that, I think we're getting an update now on the state of the parties from our political consultant who. Hello. This is the swing omisha. <laughs> and I shall measure the swing of the swinging of the swing omisha. The swing can swing here to Moolah Pratt, stay with Nick Speakman, or move to Phil Boyce. Yeah. Now, as you see. Is it swinging this way? Is it swinging this way? Yeah! yeah. Or, or perhaps I feel a bit of a swing here. Not like the swing in the 60s. Yeah. Not this, 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 it, it, oh, I see him working it out there. He's, it, he's made a mistake. He's t no, he's ma oh, it's swinging this way. Yes, sir! Oh, it's swinging this way. Yes, it's, it's, oh, it's, oh, oh, I would say, I would say thank it's you very much. the boys' party. Yes, the boys' party is what you're recommending. Yes, yes. yes. OK, thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. All right, we've got to stop you off there and go back for a result here. Um, back in, <laughs> yes, Mr. Speakman, of your 15 particular votes here, how many are you going to gamble on getting this one right? Uh, five. Oh, five. All right, Mr. Boyce, of your 21 points, how many are you going to gamble? One. Just one. A very well, unconfident politician well. there. Mr. Speakman, what percentage of the votes would have gone to you? 20. 
20% is the wrong answer, Mr. Speakman. Mr. Boyce, what do you say? 22. The answer was 40%. Both of you are showing great potential to become chancellors of the Exchequer, but not getting any further. OK. Shut up in the audience, please. No hecklers, no hecklers, even though this is political. Right, think real fast. Mr. Speakman on 10, plays Mr. Boyce on 20. You can still get there, as tonight we play the long word game. I give you three words. Tell me which of those three words is the longest. The longest is the one with the most letters in it, in case you're wondering. Magazine massage masticate. Mr. Speakman masticate. is correct. Longer, longest, shortest. Yes, Mr. Speakman. Shortest. Shortest is correct. Chimpanzee assignation Attenborough. Mr. Speakman. Assignation. Assignation is not the right answer. Mr. Boyce. I can't take any more pauses. The answer was Attenborough. Penetrate inscrutable Chinaman. Mr. Speakman. Inscrutable. Inscrutable is correct, and you're only four points behind now. Uh, pretens oh. Pretentious, inadequate quiz master. Mr. Boyce. Quiz master. Wrong. Oh. Inadequate. Ah, uh, no, the answer was pretentious. <laughs> Beer, fags, and crisps. Mr. Speaker. Crisps. Crisps is correct. Excrement, incontinent, contestant. Mr. Boyce. Contestant. Contestant is wrong. The answer was incontinent, but Mr. Boyce, you win by just two votes. <laughs> could ask for a recount, but as you're such a nice gentleman, seasonally adjusted you won, and seasonally adjusted you're going to get a song from Phil. Let's See you, go. Mr. Speakman. You hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. But hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Let's him go. Mr. Boyce, the safe seat of remote control, which is lying prone on a fast-spinning wheel, awaits you, and there, perhaps, tonight's star prize. It's yours. It's that door. Ooh. Whoa, there's yeah, the yeah, Boyce yeah. party. Yeah, would you yeah, vote yeah. for him, Phil? Would you vote for him? No, I wouldn't, actually. No, 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 you're good, Phil, as well. But that's nothing yeah. personal, right. mate. Oh, oh, just, Phil, personal. Phil, you're playing now for the door to number 10. Every right. question you get right, you get a little prize. You get a yes on the screen. Everyone that's wrong, a no. When your head stops, if it's pointing the right way, you get the big prize. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. General election endgame. Who won the general election the following years for the Bunty Annual 1922? 1922. As in committee. Might as well just say this. It's the Conservatives. So you got it, it wrong. No, no, too late. For the tie, 1974. 1974, that was... Labour. Yes, for the Brick, 1964. 1964, Conservative. Wrong, it was oh, Labour. Mr Wilson, for the chair, 1906. Oh, it was a rare one. It was a rare one. No, it was Labour, Liberals. Labour. No, 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 Liberals. Well, for the Cactus, 1979. Oh, Tories. That was... 87, come on. 87, Tories. Your lot, absolutely, Tories. yes. 1929, um, Tories. It was Labour, I'm afraid. Oh, and no. finally, 1966 for the Wellingtons. Labour. Labour's yeah. right, we'll give you a yes. Let's slow the wheel. A very, a very... Oh, no! But you do have the door of number 10 with remote controls for what, what, what you wanted. What can we say?